Hello everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. In today's video, we are in my kitchen, getting ready to decorate it for Christmas 2023. If you are interested in seeing what I'm doing in my space today, just keep on watching. So I'm starting off by bringing this three foot Christmas tree that I already have. I pull this out every year. It usually ends up in my entryway, but I decided to use it here on my kitchen island. I will decorate it off camera, but wanted you to see this simple three foot Christmas tree. Now I had a few things to put away, so I'm doing that right now, and then I will go to work. So right now I'm giving my countertops a good wipe down so they will be ready to go for all of the decor that's coming in as well as entertainment items. I'm using one of my favorite detergents, Dawn, and a little bleach water because guys, I was sick this week and I wanted to make sure my kitchen was disinfected and clean. Now I've taken out a few pieces that I wanted to use so you can kind of see what I'm working with so far. This red and white dinnerware from Grace Teaware. I'm also bringing in a tray to go up under this utensil caddy and salt and pepper uh, meals here. It's just easy to move around when it has a tray. Now to bring this kitchen to life with my coffee bar and then I'll be able to move to everything else. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but once I get my coffee bar dressed out, everything else kind of falls into place. So I have a few staples on my coffee bar and it is a stand, a two-tiered stand of some kind, a tray, and of course, my Keurig. Now once I have these three components, I am good. Now to bring in a beautiful piece of wall art, peace on earth, goodwill to all, I've had this for many, many years, but replaced the frame with a mirrored frame. I'm also adding canisters that I already had on hand for my creamer and sugar. Bringing in a tray to go under my coffee syrup dispensers that I picked up recently from Amazon. Anything that I can link, I will have it linked in my description box below. Now I've been collecting this Grace Teaware. I still do not have all of the pieces that I want, but this is the perfect time of year to look for it in home goods. I've been fortunate and blessed enough to find a few pieces this year, like these beautiful mugs. Now 
Now I always love to put a floral item on my coffee station or coffee bar as well. And I'm going to add a few red poinsettias in this picture. But I'm moving this around because it's not working for me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to make some adjustments and you'll see shortly what I decided on. Uh, these poinsettias, I just took a piece of wire to tie them all together and it works. Now this is the setup I'm enjoying. I'm going to add these honey spoons. Perfect time of year to have these. I'm just adding them to this glass. These honey spoons can be found in home goods. I've even seen them in Burlington. Now I wanted to add two trees to the stand, uh, but this one did not work. <laughs> it's too tall, but this one does. But I'm gonna go and try to find two slim, small trees that I can place on my stand to bring in that Christmas feel. Now on my stove top, I'm gonna keep it very simple just by placing my Mackenzie Child's teapot and these simple, kitchen towels that I picked up from Hobby Lobby last year. Now on the other side of my stove, I have a Southern Living cookbook coming in this week. So you'll see this real soon decorated a little bit different. But for right now, I'm gonna add this trivet also from Hobby Lobby. Isn't it beautiful? By my sink area, I'm keeping it simple as well. I'm bringing in this red pedestal and some Mrs. Myers products. Now I think I'm gonna go look for, I think the scent is peppermint because this green in here in my kitchen right now, <laughs> it's kind of clashing. <laughs> I have to have everything to coordinate, right? <laughs> I'm laughing so hard at myself. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go look for that scent so it will look or be visibly pleasing to me. <laughs> now in the corner I placed or I brought out my KitchenAid mixer and Santa Claus. Uh, he has a little gingerbread house and a few treats in his hands. Now I moved that utensil, caddy, and tray to the left of my range and added these beautiful trees that you will see in an upcoming haul. They did come from Hobby Lobby. And next to it, I added this teapot and cream and sugar bowl from Home Goods. The Lazy Susan is also from Home Goods. Now to this area, I'm adding this beautiful beautiful scent and night light by Yankee's Candle that I picked up from Walmart and this plug-in it has a cinnamon smell oh my goodness it smells so so good the name of the scent is Sugared Cinnamon by Yankee Candle. Now I wanted to share with you this area here is a place I like to set up things and be able to work on in my kitchen. And I have these plates that I'm in search for. I'm in search for at least 
four more, if not six more, by the Grace Tea Wear. But I did find the salad plates to match this set. <laughs> I had this tiered stand already. So I was excited to find these salad plates in Home Goods. And then I found another piece that I'm going to show you in a little bit that I absolutely love. But I'm going to pull these salad plates out of this bag. I'll wash them up later, especially if I come across the dinner plates. But I'm super excited to add to this collection. Now the other item is this beautiful tiered tray that I walked away from last year. <laughs> Why did I do that, right? And when I went back for it, of course it was gone. When I went in Home Goods this time, it was a lady standing there in my way. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I was waiting for her to move. And uh, she moved, and when she moved, I went in, right? Uh, this tiered tray is beautiful. I've seen it also in gold, but I wanted it in silver because a lot of my entertainment pieces are silver toned, but I do not mind mixing metals. This two tiered stand with glass cost $69.99. It is a beautiful piece that can be mixed with all type of styles. I am looking forward to using this on my kitchen island as well as my buffet in my dining room. So let me show you around so you can see what we've accomplished today here in my kitchen. Here is this beautiful tree decorated on my kitchen island. My grandson hung this ornament here way low, but anywho, that's his contribution, right? <laughs> but I love this Christmas tree here. Now my family and I, we are planning a gathering here. It's some family bonding time, so you're gonna have to come back and see how I set up my kitchen island. And here is my coffee station. I did add my signature thing that I love to do, adding that ribbon to the canisters.
Well, that's all I have for you in today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and shop my Amazon store. All of those links can be found in my description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care. You be blessed. And I'll see you on the very next video. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Please be safe out there. And I'll talk to you real, real soon. Love you guys.